I've come to Preston to get the help of my brother to fill my application for you, you can. Okay. Marco? Oh, oh, Marco. Oh, Ma- Oh, oh hey. not, not again. No, hey, hey, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm ready, I'm, I'm dressed, see? Uh, yeah? <sighs> what the hell, man? Hey there. I'm Giuliano Simeone, and I want to study film production at UCLan. When I came to UCLan on an open day, I was blown away by the facilities, such as the mixing board, the motion capture, the green screen, the phantom camera, and the old school Foley studio. I love that UCLan is one of the few universities to allow students to make a feature length in their first year. Oh, hey! One of the cool things about UCLan is its sets and locations, such as this fake street. Oh, oh shit! Shit! Okay, I'm a huge fan of directors such as Damien Chazelle and Zack Snyder, but my all-time greatest inspiration has to be Stanley Kubrick. His movies such as 2001 A Space Odyssey and Doctor Strangelove have inspired me to a deep level. Um, 2001, the practical effects he was able to do was, was truly mind-boggling. Um, being able to rotate the entire set to simulate artificial gravity is insane and like today I don't think anyone else could replicate it. Uh, his, his practical effects hold up so well that I think they still look better than the VFX movies used today. Movies such as Doctor Strangelove also have such a good social commentary at the time. Uh, it was able to poke fun at the Cold War between America and uh, Russia, but in such a comedic and satirical way that few movies are bold enough to go today. You can see that current legendary directors such as Christopher Nolan are equally inspired by Kubrick. Kubrick's influence on Christopher Nolan is evident in the hallway scene of Inception. It is also evident in the entirety of Nolan's maybe two on the nose homage, Interstellar. If I was given 20k to make a short film, I'd make something damn cheap and spend the rest on coke. <laughs> if I was given a 20k budget to make a short film, I would make a film inspired by the book version of 2001, which would explore the loneliness of space, which was kind of left out in the film adaptation by Kubrick. Um, as it would only require one set and one actor, the cost would be relatively low. Uh, movies such as Moon have been able to capture a very similar thing with very small budget. Nah, if I was actually given 20 grand, they wouldn't see me again. <laughs> There are many scenes which I would have loved to have done, uh, such as the elevator scenes to either drive all the departed, uh, the coffin scene in ja the original Django is truly awesome, um, and of course Empire Strikes Back, the ending is spectacular, but of all the scenes which I could have chosen, I would choose the opening blackjack scene to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Cutaway! I love that the scene uses a sepia filter that pays homage to the classics of the western genre. Tension is built up in the scene as he uses a long close-up of the main character, Sundance, remaining completely calm as his opponent challenges him. Butch is introduced by being shown attempting to defuse the situation. Only when Butch refers to Sundance by name do we see his opponent's face. It, it abruptly cuts to the challenger practically melting. Oh shit! Then of course we see Sundance being an absolute badass. The amount of information we get about these two main characters, such as their relationship and their personalities, in such a short span of time is truly spectacular, and I would love to be a part of making it. Thank you for considering my application, and I hope to see you next year. Bum 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 bum